Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So last Saturday, the fifth episode of season one aka series 14 aired and here's my review of it. So what did I think of Dot and Bubble? Well, I mostly enjoyed it. I liked the Black Mirror-esque vibe with the slight social commentary on where we're going with social media. It shows how overly reliant on it we as a society have become, and it seems early on like the episode was going to have this message of being more aware of what and who surrounds you, and how we should all take a break from our phones every now and then to spend quality time with family and friends. But obviously, that isn't quite how the episode panned out. By the time it ended, it was pretty clear that it was more to do with racism, and how completely awful and blindsided people can be to someone who just so happens to look a little different to them. It shows how utterly stupid racism and prejudice as a whole is. I thought Unshu Tigatwa did a great job in the final scene. He showed how frustrated and angry the Doctor was that these people were so bigoted and set in their ways that they refused to let him help them, and props to him for doing that as his very first scene for the series, as that can't have been an easy one to start off with. But I think it says something that some POC fans weren't happy with the ending or its message as a whole. I believe some felt like Russell was almost trivialising its very important subject matter in what had the optics, at least, of a very silly and goofy episode for the most part. Now, I'm a white guy myself, so I know I'm not perhaps the best person to speak about this, but I do get where this criticism is coming from. I thought Callie Cook did a great job as this episode's main lead character, Lindy Pepper Bean. She had this great way of making Lindy so completely unlikable and annoying, but also having you kind of root for her early on, until she shows her true colours anyway. Getting back to what I said earlier about how this episode tricks you into thinking it's solely all about the dangers of social media, you get this sense that Lindy is learning how to live outside of her literal bubble, or echo chamber, only for her to sacrifice Ricky September, and then refuse the Doctor's help just because of his skin colour. It means that the character we've been following throughout the episodes, as well as her friends, are the real monsters of the piece, not the giant slugs, aka the man-traps. It's kind of a similar don't-judge-a-book-by-its-cover scenario to Galaxy 4 with the Dravins and Rills. I know that some people don't like the idea of following a character who turns out to be completely beyond redeeming for a whole episode, but I personally think it works really well. It challenges the viewer and makes everything seem more realistic, by not having every single character be likeable and good-hearted. The fact that Lindy and her friends survive at the end feels incredibly uncomfortable, and we're left kind of wanting them to die. But that's the whole point. The episode doesn't want us to feel okay with what happens. It wants us to feel angry that the bad guys have essentially gone off into the sunset. Sure, they'll probably end up dying off screen, but Russell deliberately doesn't want us to think that everything's all fine and cosy and wonderful again in fine time. He wants us to feel the injustice of it all, and that's something which really speaks 
to just how powerful an episode of Doctor Who, or dramas as a whole, can be. But as I said earlier, I can understand why some black fans weren't happy with how this episode dealt with racism. It's completely fair enough that they thought it was trying to say that it was merely stupid and annoying, rather than the evil and despicable thing it really is. I'm sure Russell meant well with it, but maybe this very real issue could have done with a writer who had some personal experience with this. And whilst I understand why Russell T Davis had the Doctor still try to reason with Lindy and the others, I get why some fans would rather the Doctor have just left them to it. But yeah, I'm really not the best person to speak about this. But I would be very interested to hear what any black viewers watching this video think about this. But yeah, I still enjoyed Dot and Bubble for the most part. So I'm going to give it a rating of 8 out of 10. It had some great messaging about the dangers of social media and how we're putting ourselves in our own bubbles or echo chambers. And Unshuti Gatwa really did act his socks off in that final scene. But there are some conversations to be had about how it paints racism, and that needs to be addressed more. But anyway, so there's my review of Dot and Bubble. But what did you think? Did you like the episode or not? And did you agree with my ranking and thoughts? Please let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it, so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. This channel currently has 2060 subscribers, as of time of writing and recording this video. But if we can get to 2500 by the end of this year, then I'll do a Q&A. We can ask me whatever questions you want. Just keep them polite, please. Also, please rate and comment below your thoughts on all of this. And please feel free to donate to my Ko-fi page, link in the description, or send me a YouTube super thanks below, if you want to, of course. And I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye bye